Hello Wayne, welcome. Just give people a few more moments to, to find us and to join us for, for Compline for evening prayer. If you have the words with you, you can find the words in the um, Common Worship book um, that you can find online and we'll make sure we tag it into this video. And it's um, Compline on page 337. Um, we do have a booklet with it in as well, so if you'd like that booklet, then we can email it to you. But you can just let the words um, sort of wash over you, and perhaps for some of you, um, they may be familiar. Um, welcome, Claire. Lovely that you're here with us. Hope you're well, and uh, it's good that we can be together in this way. Being in God's presence, even though we're all in our separate spaces and in our homes, um, we're, we're together with God and therefore together with each other as well, so welcome. Welcome Stephanie, good evening. So we'll begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. And so in a short period of silence, we lay aside all the things of the day, maybe the things that have gone well, maybe the things that we haven't been able to do, or things that have been heavy on us. We lay them to one side, and we, in God's presence, we just bring ourselves and all that we are. So we say the prayer together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and shall be forever. Amen. And so we have our hymn. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And so we join together in our psalm, which is Psalm 62. Wait on God alone in stillness, O my soul. On God alone my soul in stillness waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall never be shaken. How long will all of you assail me to destroy me, as you would a tottering wall or a leaning fence? They plot only to thrust me down from my place of honour. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their mouth, but in their heart they curse. Wait on God, alone in stillness, O my soul, for in him is my hope. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my strength and my glory. God is my strong rock 
In him is my refuge. Put your trust in him always, my people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. The peoples are but a breath. The whole human, the whole human race a deceit. On the scales they are altogether lighter than air. Put no trust in oppression. In robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God spoke once, and twice have I heard the same. That power belongs to God. Steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to their deeds. Wait on God alone in stillness, O my soul. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. O oh God, teach us to seek security, not in money or theft, not in human ambition or malice, not in our own ability or power, but in you, the only God, our rock and our salvation. Amen. Amen. So welcome to Ginny and to Sarah. Welcome and wonderful that you're here with us this evening. So our scripture reading this evening is from Luke 14, 7 to 11. When Jesus noticed how the guests chose the places of honour, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the place of honour, in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host, and the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, give this person your place. And then in disgrace you would start to take the lowest place. But you, when you are invited, go and sit down at the lowest place, so that when your host comes he may say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honoured in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So our responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Summon up to Mittis. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory, glory to, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. So we pray to God. Holy God, we pray for peace at the end of the day. That we will find closure where we need it. An acceptance of situations that are still to be resolved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for strength for tomorrow that we'll go into situations with optimism, knowing that you are always beside us. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
we pray that we will be comfort for those we know and love who are ill or suffering. We pray for the wisdom to say the right words at the time they need to be heard. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the world you've made. Give us insight into how we can preserve and protect it, living in harmony, not in conflict with nature. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We bring our prayers for all those we love and care for to you, knowing that you hear and answer us. Amen. Amen. We pray for those who have a heavy heart full of grief, who are missing loved ones. We pray that you'll give us the strength and all that we need to carry on each day and to find the good in each moment. And to remember that our loved ones are safe in your keeping and that we will see them again. Amen. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so saying together, we say the Lord's Prayer, and we're to the old traditional version today. Our Father, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you, you alone, alone, Lord, make us dwell in, in safety. safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Amen. So to, from both of us to all of you, we extend a big hug and we pray that you will have a peaceful sleep, that you will rest well, knowing that you are held and loved by God. Amen. Take care. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.